afternoon. I'm Lindsay Watson. We're breaking into programming right now to bring you special coverage of the total solar eclipse. Our news crews are spread out all across the area working to show you this historic event. And I don't know about you, but I already have goosebumps. So let's get those solar eclipse glasses ready. I got mine from Storm Team 27. This is a live look from our camera on top of our WKBN studios in Boardman. We'll be monitoring this shot over the next few minutes. The one thing on everyone's mind right now, how are the weather conditions for the eclipse? So let's get to our expert, Chief Meteorologist Paul Wetzel, who's keeping an eye on the skies right outside of the studio. Paul. All right, Lindsay, and absolutely, that has been the big question. It's been all about the clouds. The good news is right here at the station, we just pushed a big band of clouds past us. So if you're getting the clouds right now in your location, some good news over my shoulder, you can plainly see here, there is clouds thicker there, but as we walk around, and we'll go ahead and just kind of swing our way around here, you can see the blue sky starting to show up here. So this is going to be the case here this afternoon as uh, that moon that is more than two 200,000 miles away, moving around over 2,000 miles per hour, eclipses the sun this afternoon. And you can see the hue. You can plainly see how we are getting darker here. And actually, let me just take a quick look. We're almost there. Uh, so exciting news this afternoon, at least here at the station, that cloud bank moved on through. If you're getting the actual clouds in your location right now, they're, they're moving along. And there you can see it. It is getting close to being a total eclipse here. So we're getting very, very close uh, here minutes away. And if you're getting clouds, hopefully the wind's moving them along pretty quickly that we can get them blown out of here. So uh, I know it's been a tough afternoon. It's been a tough forecast here trying to figure out if you were going to get these clouds opened up. Some are getting it. Some are not, unfortunately. But if you are getting clouds currently, hopefully they'll move away. Uh, but definitely an exciting afternoon uh, for a lot of us, a once in a lifetime event to see this uh, full solar eclipse taking place this afternoon. Now we have people all across the area uh, taking views, talking about different aspects of this eclipse here locally, and we're going to head out to see where they're at and what they're seeing from their location. So I'll send it back into you for now, Lindsay. Uh, an exciting afternoon right here in front of the station as well as all across the valley. All right, Paul, thank you so much. I'm sure we'll be talking to you in just a few minutes. Well, there's an eclipse viewing celebration happening right now in Warren at Mullenkopf Stadium. It started around 1.30 this afternoon, and the crowd has been growing ever since. First News anchor Dave Sess is there in the middle of all of the excitement. Dave, what are you seeing? Well, our situation here is we've got just a small layer of clouds in front of the sun, but it's not really blocking anything, so we've got some good vision here, and we've been getting good updates from across the field on the other side of the stadium where the event's really happening. Uh, they've been giving us updates on to the countdown to totality, and the last one we got was uh, 10 minutes until that moment. Oh, we'll probably be about five minutes away right now. As I said, most of the activities are across the stadium from me. There's about 300 people here. There's a dozen activity stations in front there on the area which would be like where the sidelines are for the football team. Uh, that's mainly for the kids but there's some interesting things for adults too. It's some things where you can visualize, uh, touch things where you can uh, get a sense of what's happening, the path of the eclipse and just some things to help kids experience it and also maybe put a spark in their mind for what they want to see. Uh, there's a soundtrack playing. The last song they just played was Dancing in the Moonlight because they're, you know, the moon is a uh, coming in between us, the earth and the, and the sun here. I can tell you most of the people are from this area. There's probably 300 in the stands there. There are a lot in the grass areas around the stadium too who are looking up. Uh, most, uh, a lot of people from Pittsburgh who drove over today wanting to see this. As I told you at first news at noon, I met a couple from Johnstown who came over here. New Jersey, Maryland, Virginia, and there is a license plate in the parking lot from Alaska today. Haven't met him yet, but I'm sure hoping to before we get to the totality. That's the latest from here in Warren. Dave Sess, WKBN 27 First News. All right, looks like you're getting a great view there, Dave, and we want to check on our camera outside of our studio, take a live look at what's happening outside. We're almost there. The light that you're seeing covered by the moon, that's the outer ring of the sun. It is called the corona. Now, this is so very different than what we saw and even experienced in 
2017. Now, the Eastwood Mall was in the path of totality, and that's where we'll find our very own Trumbull County reporter, Nadine Grimley, who's live there right now. Nadine, how's the view? Well, Lindsay, the DJ is playing the final countdown. Thousands of people are here at the Eastwood Mall waiting to catch a glimpse of that total solar eclipse in the path of totality. It's probably the largest tailgate I've seen in a very long time. Now, this is one of the reasons why the Emergency Operations Center in Trumbull County has been activated for the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, it was all in preparation for today's total solar eclipse. Representatives from area law enforcement, fire department, the county combined health district and engineer's office, plus local hospital systems were all in communications with each other at the emergency management management agency either in person or by Zoom. These officials were monitoring traffic conditions, local events, and communicating with different agencies throughout the day. It hasn't been very eventful. Hopefully it stays that way. Um, you know, we're, we're hoping that all the events, you know, go well. They're well attended. There's no accidents. There's no injuries. Um, and if there is a change in that, we will be updating, you know, each other and the public as well. Well, the Emergency Operations Center will be activated through about 8 p.m. tonight. Now, that's all depending. They could close up a little bit earlier or stay open a little bit later, depending on what's happening. Now, here at the Eastwood Mall, like I said earlier, thousands of people are here just watching the, the total solar eclipse. And we spoke with one person from North Carolina who grew up here in Warren. She came back to visit her parents just this weekend so she could catch a glimpse of the total solar eclipse. She saw it in the Carolinas in 2017 and said it was a really cool experience. But live here from the Eastwood Mall, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. Absolutely. Absolutely incredible. Thanks so much, Nadine. Well, the eclipse is a great learning event as well, and that's why the YSU Ward Beecher Planetarium is co-hosting a total solar eclipse viewing event at Foxconn in Lordstown. This location is expected to experience totality for approximately a minute and a half. First News reporter Jacob Thompson has been following the eclipse for us for months now. He's live to show us what's happening there. Jacob. Yeah, Lindsay, the day has finally come, and honestly, I am super excited for this. We just got the call, less than three minutes left until totality. What you're going to see if you're watching at home, diamond ring and then Bailey's beads, just a couple little bright spots underneath the moon. That's where it, the light is still passing through some of the crescents and valleys on the moon, and there will be totality. You really won't be able to see anything through the eclipse shades, so you'll be safe at that point to take them off and look at it. Right now, as I'm looking at it, it's just a small percentage of the sun that is still coming out. Temperature has definitely dropped as it's gone throughout the day. You look at the shadows. The shadows have become more sharp just because you have less light that is pressing through here. So I'm hearing Kurt Spivey out here talking about the clouds. There's what's called a sun dog. It's a giant halo around the sun right now of sort of kind of like uh yeah a giant halo around the sun because of these serious clouds now we got to be getting roughly to about two two minutes a minute somewhere in that ballpark so i'm going to go ahead and kick it back to you guys so you guys can see where you're looking at the camera on top of the station live in lordstown jacob thompson wkbn 27 first news thanks so much jacob well we're going to hand it back over to our chief meteorologist paul wetzel to give us a look outside what's happening in the boardman area as we get close to the moment of totality paul what's happening outside of our doors right now all right lindsay and you know and we were just talking back and forth out here it's 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 an an interesting feeling it's almost like your eyes can't even focus even when you're not looking at the sun right now and here we go and actually uh, we're looking here and we are just a small slither of course we're, ju we're just outside of that, that total eclipse path uh, here in Boardman. But let me tell you, uh, just since I've started talking, it's getting darker and darker uh, here at the station right now. And you can plainly see as we look out, there goes the lights. The gas station lights just came on uh, across the street there. So uh, that just goes to show you that here we go. We're actually just getting into it now. The lights, you can actually see a lot of these uh, security lights. Uh, the, the store here over here to the right, the lights have just come on as well. And uh, here we go. We're just we're dipping into that that fullness uh, here locally. And if I look up, 
Oh, there's just a little, just a little piece there. Uh, there you can see it, not much left. And, and we just continue to watch this go down right now. I mean, this is a weird, I'm, I've got goosebumps, Lindsay, doing this right now. This is, a, this is definitely a strange feeling. The parking lot lights just came on uh, behind me here and uh, we are dipping, I mean, fast uh, here locally. Look at that. And uh, Ryan, I don't know if we, maybe we can swing around. You can actually see, see how the clouds, you can see the darkness out there kind of settling in uh, over top of us here as uh, we are getting into there we go uh, just about to get on through this uh, total eclipse this is one strange feeling uh, there's no question about it of course uh, the 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 possibility of experiencing this is really neat and uh, we are so lucky that we're living in a location here that we actually get to experience it even just outside that path of totality uh, here locally it is darkening fast <laughs> and i mean we're talking seconds here as uh, we continue to see the light go down all the lights are popping on around us here uh, we have to turn the camera light on so you can actually see me at this point and uh, definitely something to see uh, here at the set the station here so we're going to send it back out to the field where it keeps getting darker uh, heading out to Dave says. All right, and like Paul said, we're going to hand things back over to Dave, who's at Mollenkopf Stadium. I'm sure experiencing the exact same thing. Dave, you're in the darkness. How's it feel? Yeah, big change, big change here. I was a little disappointed when we first came on. It was so bright. I thought it was going to get a lot darker. Now that darkness is finally hit, and I'm getting the excitement, and you might be able to hear the cheers behind me, honking of the horns in the, uh, in the parking lots here. Everybody has caught that excitement as we see the totality now. Now and uh, just waiting for the little diamond ring or engagement ring or whatever they call it at the end of this. But uh, a lot of cheers here because it has gotten really dark. A lot of the street lights have kicked on, house lights. Uh, you see the radio and TV tower lights blinking in the distance that you didn't see before. But certainly a big change here with that uh, sun being blocked by as much of the moon as possible right now as we've hit totality. And I'll tell you that I've can put on my glasses now and look right at it and have no problem. So uh, a big change here and a beautiful, beautiful Corona uh, seeing from the sun right now. So that's the latest from here. Back to you, Lindsay. Awesome. That's so cool, Dave. I love that you are out there experiencing all this. And one person who has been covering this for almost the last year has been Jacob Thompson. So we're going to hand things back over to him. Jacob, how are you feeling right now? This is something you've been so excited about. I think the crowd can tell you exactly how I'm feeling about this. We just came out of totality just right now. The diamond ring just appeared. We were just in it while Dave was talking. That was the coolest thing, one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. It's just starting to get light here. You could see it beyond the horizon. It still looked light here. You could hear the birds in the background. They were starting to chirp as if they were going to sleep, thinking it was nighttime. And I, I, I'm speechless, and Lindsay, you know me, I'm no shortage of words, and I'm speechless right now when I'm talking about this. This is probably, again, top three coolest things in that has ever happened to me in my life. Probably first being born, that one will probably definitely be up there. But we're just starting to come out of totality. Things are just starting to light up. We've been given the, about a minute ago, the put your eclipse shades back on, so things will finally start to lighten up. The temperature will start to go up. It definitely was cooler here, and now it's starting to get warm up, and things will go back to how it's supposed to be for a normal April day. And then the, about 4.30, is when the eclipse will come to an end. Live in Lordstown, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News. Fantastic, Jacob. I think you summed it up great for all of us. We were all speechless, and I know someone else who's been super excited about this event has been our chief meteorologist, Paul Wetzel. He's been live outside of our studio with our sports director, Ryan Allison, and meteorologist, Hannah Stutler. Paul, last time we saw you, you were covered in darkness, and now uh, it's light outside again. We were, and it's really interesting, uh, the, the top crescent, and of course we can show this from the top of the station here, uh, here locally, uh, was still a little lit. Now you can see like the, the, the southwest, the lower left quadrant, as the moon kind of rolls across it. That's because we're not quite into that totality here. Uh, but let me tell you, here we go. Here comes the sun again for us uh, here, and, and actually it's just like uh, going from pretty much 
darkness to dusk to, well, we're back up to sunrise now. So this is our second sunrise of the day, we'll call it. Uh, this time, though, of course, from the eclipse. And uh, here we go. The brightness is coming right back in here. We got to walk this down just minutes ago. Uh, we are just about past. We are past uh, uh, the total here as uh, the sun is starting to work its way back out. And uh, we'll continue to see that uh, as we brighten up here. Uh, it's been really fun today, and I'm sure all of you have experienced this uh, this afternoon. A lot of people out in their yards enjoying this. And it is so great to see people enjoying nature, enjoying science, enjoying this possibly once in a lifetime event for you. So hopefully, hopefully you were able to get those clouds cleared in your location. If not, hopefully you were able to, of course, see it here as uh, we've been broadcasting this live from around the valley. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I know some spots were stuck with the clouds, but uh, let me tell you, and, and, and Hannah Stutler's out here with me as well, we have been watching this all week long worried about these clouds in and out we've been fighting with this warm front the timing of it moving on through we are really lucky to get the sunshine we did today because i don't know as you woke up this morning we had socked in by clouds and the question was how fast were those going to get out of here so it was something we had to watch very closely here locally so again this has been quite an event uh and we're brightening back up here today i'm sure you know it's interesting the birds have quit we were hearing the birds as it was getting darker and darker and darker. Well, it's it's silent here now. I do not hear, oh, there's a bird. They must have heard me. So now that the sun's coming back out, I think the birds are going to start chirping again here as we get back to some sunshine this afternoon. So uh, enjoying the eclipse. Hopefully you were able to enjoy the eclipse as well in your location, but live right here in front of the station in Boardman this afternoon. Paul, so thankful that we got to experience this with you, this once-in-a-lifetime event. You're obviously our expert, so it was so nice to have you at the helm explaining all of this to us, especially over the last year, even more. Well, we're going to hand things over to Jacob Thompson one more time. He was in the path of totality outside of Foxconn. Jacob, you were listening to people from YSU's Ward Beecher Planetarium. Talk more about the experience. Well, basically, the experience right now is it's much lighter out than when you taught when I tossed it back to you probably about less than three minutes ago. But joining me now is Kurt Spivey. Kurt, if you want to take a step in here from the YSU's Planetarium. Kurt, you told me a while ago this is going to be your first total solar eclipse. Your reaction after seeing what we just saw. Oh! It's just, it's just it, once in a lifetime event. It really is. And it was, uh, I had my eclipse glasses on to the very last second so I could be sure nobody would take them off early. But as soon as you took them off, it was so amazing. You could see that solar prominence, that little red area and the corona around. It was just fantastic and something you never can uh, get just by watching it on the internet or something. We live in Northeast Ohio. Cloud coverage is gonna be a thing, especially in April. But we got lucky today. We had very high yes. clouds and honestly, we can't make out for a better day. What to say you? Oh, uh, considering it's April in Northeast Ohio, we did luck out. Just the high thin cirrus clouds. It did not impede the view during the totality. Uh, and we saw a fantastic event. And then one last thing for you. You, I know this totality just ended like a few minutes ago, but what's the one big thing you're going to take away from today? Um, hmm, it's hard to say. It's just, a heavy question. I know. It's a heavy question. I've been building up to this for seven years since the one in 2017. So it, it's amazing that I've actually experienced this now because very few people in the entire world get to experience it. Now I can say I have. Well, I have too. Thank you so much, no Kurt. Problem. And thank Thanks, you for all the help Jacob. you've helped me sure with. Thing. Thank you so much. Well, things are starting to get brighter out here. More sun's coming out and the temperature's starting to warm up. So the eclipse is slowly but steadily coming to an end. Live in Lordstown, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 20 some First News. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jacob. Well, our crews will continue to monitor the eclipse throughout the evening. Our coverage picks back up with First News at 5. Thank you so much for spending this once-in-a-lifetime event with all of us. We'll see you at 5. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.